Hello everyone. So, um, I'm just doing this video because it's early in the damn morning. And, uh, I slept for a little bit earlier than I woke up. I'm caught between worlds. Um, most of the time, most of my life I've worked night shift. And this job that I've had for the last couple of years, uh, I've been day shift. But whenever my body gets out of whack, it tries to go back to night shift. But I wanted to cover a few things while reassembling um, Washington State Pickers uh, Challenge Log. First off, I'd like to say that um, Southampton Lock Picking Club dun, 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 um, mentioned that um, Fix, Pick, and Lock is in. Um, uh, he's he had surgery about for something I don't know what it was, but. Uh, he had to go back into the hospital. He's in an intensive care unit right now. So, those of you that are religious can pray for him. And uh, any anybody else or, you know, even the religious ones can still uh, go over there and uh, leave a comment on his last video. You know, wish him well or whatever. Uh, try to help him out. He's a really great guy and he's a member of our community. Um, that... That being said, I don't, you know, he's over in the uh, UK, and if you don't know who he is, just check the, I'll leave a link in the description of this video, and uh, Southampton Lockpicking Club had mentioned it, and uh, he said that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it would help if I mentioned it, because maybe some of my viewers are not subscribed to him, which I would find odd, but you wouldn't watch Southampton Lock Picking Club, but still, um, I just wanted to mention that and throw that out. Whenever you do a challenge lock, um, you know, of course, you, you've got to videotape it. Uh, you don't want to edit as far as, like, pause in between the picking, you know, or taking the, from being picked to going down here, just because you don't want people thinking that you were Messing around with the lock, you only had like one pin in it or some crap like that, you know. Um, but another thing is, the good thing about videotaping it is, when you're videotaping the sequence, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that's something in my lungs today. When you're videotaping the picking sequence and you're gutting the lock, it can really help you as the picker of the lock. When you go to reassemble it, because pin orientation is, is um, important. You know, when the lock maker made the lock, he wanted that T-pin pointed a certain way. And when you pick the lock, it was a certain way. So if you mess up and you uh, reverse, you know, like a T-pin or something else, you change the lock, basically. It's still a, a challenge lock, but it's different from what the maker had. So uh, if you have any questions about that, just contact the, the pick maker. I mean the lock maker, and uh, you know through email or any contact anybody in Locksport that you know would probably have a you know a connection to them if if you if they're not still current or whatever. But uh, another thing is when you uh, when you have disassembled it and laid it out, it's a good idea a lot of times to take a still photograph of it. That way you don't have to freeze the the uh, the video you know and be trying to look at it because sometimes it'll leave a a thing up there or sometimes it'll blur the uh, image a little bit or darken it you know when it's on still frame on a video but with a, a photograph you can just look at it and say ah that's how it came out and that's how it goes back in <clears throat> I just wanted to say that because uh, I don't have any challenge locks in my uh, naughty bucket I, I pick them as as quick as I can and I send them out as quick as I can now, if I don't have a package going out for a while, or I can't afford it or whatever. <coughs> wow, that's an odd size when it doesn't fit in there. Um, excuse me, that choking has got me choked up. Uh, if I don't have a package going out anytime soon, that'll give me more time to pick on the lock. Um, but a challenge lock, I think like uh, Thumper mentioned in his videos, that he didn't have any challenge locks left to pick. And I know Albert LaBelle is always asking for challenge locks, and um, there's only so many challenge locks out there. I, I try to make some more, 
I've only done like about 30 of them myself. But um, yeah, you, you might see the initial pick of a challenge like, but a lot of times they don't, they don't pop up again, you know, like they disappear and I'm sure they're out there. No one's, you know, like ripped them off or anything, or stolen them, or they got lost in the mail or anything like that. They're just sitting in a bucket because they're that difficult. Well, that's fine. You know, I mean, it, it's good that if a challenge lock is difficult and you can't pick it um, and you don't have the time to get to it. I mean, I know a lot of people have jobs. I got jobs myself and just because I'm insomniac, you know, is the only reason why I can do so much. A lot of times, I got extra time on my hands. Um, but <clears throat> I make the best effort I can to pick a lock and to get it moved on. Um, and the challenge ones, I like to give it a good challenge. You know, I mean, like um, if I get a lock with this one particular one here, Washington State picker sent this one to me um, in the mail. I mean, he just like, hey, I want to send you a package. Okay. I want to send you a challenge lock, and he sent me that one, and as soon as I got it, I tried to pick it, and man, it was tough, and he said, you know, you can keep it, or you can send it on, well, of course, I'm going to send it on, you know, I mean, because I'd, I'd love to have somebody's example of a challenge lock, but uh, I wouldn't want to hoard it, you know, I want everybody else to have fun with it, too, um, so that's what I try to do, I'm not trying to lecture anyone, or, or anything like that, I'm just you know, giving a, uh, advice and an advice is, you know, like an opinion. Um, you can take it or leave it, you know, for what it's worth. I won't be offended, you know, if you, if you disagree with me on anything. Uh, but if you, if you pick a challenge lock and you've got it sitting there, like I have separate trays and everything, I try to put them back together again as quickly as possible because you can bump into this or you can jostle it and again that's where it's having a, a, a still picture or a videotape of you uh, taking it apart and everything helps on reassembly also when you post it if the uh, challenge lock maker sees that you've got a, a pin oriented differently they can say hey you know by the way you've got that pin you know upside down or something and uh if it makes a difference to them, I mean, you know, to me, if somebody re reassembles mine differently, like, for example, a key pin is pointed in a different way, and it works, hey, maybe it's, you know, it might make it more difficult that way, you know, um, but that's all I'm saying on that, I, you know, I send them out there, it takes quite a while, I I'm surprised how much time it takes to make a challenge lock, and then sometimes how quickly you can get into them. You know, you'll spend hours, sometimes days, on uh, getting the thing right. And I, I don't mean like constantly working on it. You'll go on, you'll work on a pin or two, and you'll get exhausted, and you'll go off and do something else, or you get bored, and you'll come back, and you'll think of a mod, like, oh, I can thread this, or, ooh, ooh, countersinking would be really good here. And if I countersink this... What would I put in there to interact with that countersink? And how much of a deep fall set can I get? You know, you just kind of like play back and forth with that stuff. So it, it takes a lot. I don't know how everybody else does challenge songs, but it takes a lot of effort to put them into there. And uh, it would be nice to see them um, picked on video or, you know, whipped on video uh, more often. Because a lot of times what we'll do, we don't have time if you if you've got a lot of packages and you're in i don't have a lot of uh, subscribers or a, a big list of uh people that i exchange locks with and stuff um so but when i do get uh, a bunch of challenge locks for example i get like two packages back to back that have got challenge locks in it there's no way i can pick all those right away but i will start scheduling more challenge locks to be picked and uh, it takes a lot of time. Like I said, you'll sit there and you, you'll you do like a, a picking session on video. And I'll be commenting like I'm doing right now. I'll be talking. And then if I don't get the lock, um, that video usually gets deleted. Maybe not right away, but uh, I've got to make space on my um, drive. You know, my storage space on my phone has only got so many videos I can keep on there. And the rest of them I upload to YouTube. So... You've got limited time and limited space 
that you can, you know, invest on this. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there and mention, you know, about uh, a lot of us in, the, in this community go through different medical issues and pains. And uh, that's what's good about Locksport is you can forget about all that stuff if you still have, like, arm movement. I mean... Today at work, I was picking that Hampton lock behind my back, you know? I mean, just to be playing around, like, ooh, what would it be like if this was, like, back here? You know, could you pick it behind your back? Four spools, you know, four pins. Yeah, it was it was kind of fun to do it that way. Then I was picking it left-handed, you know, just playing around. Um, board, basically. Something to do with locks. But um, a good thing to do is put this thing in a in a... I don't know where my core holder is. It's, it's running around. Usually I use it as on this uh, phone as a stand to lift it up. But it's hiding somewhere. But you set this in here. And then you set all your key pins in in the position that you you had laid them out. And if everything's flush and, and correct and cool, you've got that part done. And then you go through and you just do the reverse of the gutting. You know, you just make sure, in this case, you know, you want to make sure that every spring goes in a proper chamber. And then uh, you want to make sure the orientation is correct. Now, see, I pull these out, and I set where the pointy end is down here. Like, this is your shear line. And this is the Bible up here. And this is the core. You've got to remember that, because when you're assembling it, you've got to reverse that. You know, for example, this one goes down here in the core... But when you're putting it in the Bible, you want this pointy end pointing up, not, you know, you, you want you don't want it the other way around. You don't want to stick this in exactly the way it is. Pick it up and lift it down is what I'm trying to say. I mean, a lot of this stuff is basic, but uh, it might help people that are new to challenge locks or, you know, have never encountered one or are looking forward to, you know, getting a challenge lock in the future. That's, that's just some of my recommendations is... Uh, Put them back together as quickly as you can, um, but uh, give it time. You know, like if you put up a video for like the the challenge lock maker to say, "Hey, you know, I hope you haven't reassembled it yet, <laughs> but you've got some pins upside down." Or and if if something happens, it's no big deal. You know, I mean, like if somebody was working on my picking one of my locks and ping the pin went off and you couldn't find it, you know, um, you could just email me or whatever or uh, I can tell you about what shape it is, and you could throw something like that in of your own, you know, and it would be it would wind up being a collaboration lock. It's no big deal. It's not a a, a no foul, you know, type of thing. I've run into challenge locks where somebody has designed the key pin with such a deep spool in it that the key pin became weak, and the pin broke. You know, I mean, probably I wasn't the first picker on it, so it probably came broke to me because it said key didn't work. You know. And uh, I was able to pick it anyway, but um, I didn't know the, the lock picker at the time. I, I hadn't subscribed to him. I didn't even know if he was active he, uh, anymore. But uh, I sent it to uh, Bill Bacardi, <laughs> and he fixed it. You know, he fixed it and, and sent it on. So it was cool. Uh, but the 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 lock the challenge lock maker also had contacted me and said, "I'll just replace it with you know." A spool type pin and at that time i wasn't i hadn't made that many um key pins and i didn't want to put my attempt at what he had put in there you know as a replacement so i sent it to a more knowledgeable person mr bill bacardi and uh he, he fixed that problem no problem you know so that's all i, was, I wanted to mention it's just a little quick video just to pass some time with everyone and not do a whole lot of lock picking or anything uh we could try to pick a zero bitted Titan, you know. If, if it, <clears throat> some people are, you know, like, oh, it's a lock picking channel and you didn't pick locks. Well, you know, if you even had a lock in the picture, that's good enough for me. You know, I mean, you don't even have to talk about locks. Ooh, zero bitted would mean I would have to go way up and we got to still find the binder. This is different. I haven't picked a, a zero bitted lock in a long time. haven't needed to <laughs> zero bit it usually means uh you're gonna rekey it i guess you could just lift it all up 
I'm going to try to rake it. I'm not sure if I got this right. This may turn out. It's already a 15 minute video. I don't know why I'm doing this. Insanity. I'm trying to push them way up there. Because you're trying. That's your sure. <laughs> this is our bidding today of this challenge lock. It's very challenging. Very challenging. You know, actually, right now it is challenging. Because I'm challenged already. In many ways. In more ways than one. Ooh, I got slight movement on the core. This is kind of like the bidding made for me. I usually overset everything. So all I got to do is just overset all these and back up a little bit. Weird. I didn't know it was going to be this, this difficult. Maybe I need to change my tension wrench. It's funny. You would think, <laughs> it should be easy to rate. But single pin picking, man, it's not easy. Well, this is strange. I might have to make another video of that. Oh, and it's also starting to get hot here in Texas. Um, 80 degrees. Well, it's 20 centigrade or something. I don't know how much it is. and I haven't converted it yet. But it's pretty warm. Right now it's 78.6 Fahrenheit in here. I don't have the air conditioner on or anything. Well, the lesson for today is don't grab a lock at the end of your discussion. If you want to round it up, don't try picking a zero-bitted lock. Oh, it's not even keyed up for that. It isn't zero-bitted, idiot. That's why. This is a blank for that lock. See? See what happens when you don't have enough sleep or your brain is oxygen-deprived. I still have to pick this and then... I can file the key for that. Duh. Duh. <clears throat> and that's another thing. I'm not an expert on any of this. I mean, you know, I just I just learn as I go. So, um, if I give some erroneous information or whatever, you know, feel free to chime in there. And if your information is erroneous, I might feel free to chime right back in, you know. Um, but, thank you for watching. I'll get Rip Torn put back together, and uh, I'll pick this guy. I guess for a stock lock Sunday, you know, I could do that. I could pick him, and then I've got a, a potential challenge lock. Clash of the Titans. I'm already thinking of a name for him. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, and happy picking, everyone. Nice little area behind the factory. Mississippi like to run his cows, but... I've walked all through here and I can't find his cows. I don't know where they're hiding. Hmm. A dump. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice back here. Other than there's a lot of cow patties all over the ground, but other than that, I don't know where his cows are hiding. They're usually all milling about. <clears throat> nice little walk, kind of like through a park. Picnic. A hole in that roof in that barn there. Big old hole. All right, time to go back. Lunch over.